Welcome back guys. I'm glad you've come back because there's a lot more to this game. We've just, uh, like in that first episode, we scratched the surface. I, I've been playing a little bit more and holy, yeah, there's a lot more to this game. Right, should we uh, like, just like get straight on with it? Um, I will tell you, I've had to, I've had to recreate this because the, the game was launched into early access today. And in case you're interested, it's like £12 in UK money or uh, $15. And uh, they implemented a, a fix to an issue with the saves. But unfortunately, it broke old save games. So I've had to recreate this. And it, it's pretty much exactly the way it was before. There might be one or two like like tiny little differences. Uh, one difference is I've managed to do it quicker. We're, we were in week 28. We're only in week 22 now. Uh, okay, let's let's dive in because there's there's stuff I want to show you. So I think the, pretty much the last thing we did in 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 episode one was to build this guard tower, right? Uh, now we've got two out of four required weapons, and we've managed to get those because we've scavenged them. Uh, but we need to make weapons for for our towers. We can't rely on scavenged weapons. So uh, let's um, let's get that going. Uh, what do we want? We want uh, weapons. Weaponsmith. Let's get a weaponsmith. Now, where should we put a weaponsmith? Well, like pretty obviously next to the tavern. Because, I mean, obviously you want to store your weapons next to a bunch of drunk people, right? It's kind of obvious. So let's um, let's just throw that in there. Uh, I might let that just get built. Oh, I haven't got anybody working in the prison. Yeah, we, um, we're running out of workers. There's nobody working here. So we're going to need to create like more workers. I think I'm going to get rid of one of my scavengers. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of one of my scavenger posts. So, um, yeah, let's just let's just demolish it. Yeah, demolish that structure. And then I'm going to go over there and scavenge the remains. Now, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention when I started the game. And apparently I'm female. But that kind of ties in with the whole, like, <laughs> transgender stuff that's going on in the game. So, what the hell? There you go. I am now a woman. Enjoy. And there, was, and there was much rejoicing. Actually, when I found out that I was I was actually a woman, uh, I didn't come out of my shack for about a week. <laughs> Kids, ask your parents. Right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do a little bit of scavenging over here, which would be nice. There's a lot of dead bodies around the place. Uh, how many people we got working in the crematorium? And we've got four people. But it's, um, it's not enough to keep up with the dead bodies at the moment. So, are you scavenging? Oh, we found a special... Oh, so I didn't find this this time around. I've just found it. The rusty toolkit. We found that last time. Hooray, good news. Uh, let's speed this up. So I've got 25 slots. Okay, I just found... I just found four bits from that. I might, like, while I'm here, might as well go and do a bit of scavenging. And then, uh, and then we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do some more building to try and uh, encourage like more people. So here we go. Anything anything cool? We've got some bottled water. That's kind of nice. Uh, oh, we've got a salvage weapon. That's actually pretty good. I could, you know, I could maybe live without that weapon, Smith, maybe. Uh, let's go. We want you to go dump in the nearest storehouse. So, go. We can, we can see you whizzing. Here he comes. Look at this. Sprinted like Steve Austin. God, that dates me. The Flash. All right. There you go. See, I'm up to date. I know, I know what the kids are watching. Uh, yeah, let's pause that. So we've just got some stuff. Uh, I think... What do I want? Um, I'd love to get a hospital going. Uh, and I'd love to get some medicine going. Should we maybe focus on those? The first aid tent. That gives you... Um, uh, 50 health per visit, 100 with medicine. It's got a capacity of two visitors, three workers for maximum efficiency. But the hospital is like a bigger version of it, but more than that. So it's got a capacity. It's, it's the same, restores the same health. It has a six capacity, six visitor capacity, six workers. So it's um, it's more efficient. Uh, but also, once, you, once you've built a hospital, it proves to your citizens that your town has a future and they will begin giving birth to children. Hooray! So that's kind of a good thing. And uh, and since we want more people, it would be good. So I'm thinking of actually getting rid of this. So I get rid of, yeah, let's get rid of this, I think. 
We've got somebody incoming, but that's tough. So let's um, let's demolish that structure. We'll salvage it. Go. Go. Come on, come on, Steve. No, sorry, Barry. Come on, Barry. <laughs> we need to get some people working in there. Oh, go, go and do that first. Ah. <laughs> Misclicking. All right, so we'll uh, we'll grab some stuff from there. Cool. Uh, and then I want to build the hospital if it'll fit. What's the odds it won't freaking fit? Ah, uh, what a surprise! It's huge. Just flip you around. I guess it goes that way. Will it? Uh, oh, it'll go. Oh, you know what? If I just push it back a bit, it'll go in there. All right. Yeah. Let's have let's have that in there. I do I yeah 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 I do want it there like what the hell it, it doesn't matter that freaking much so let's put you boom in you go let's build let's help build that I should have I should have kind of squared that up should I really but it'll do it's fine it's fine it's not that big a deal the, the OCD is killing me now <laughs> it's like it's at an angle and uh, I think we want I I think I want to stick here and and get this built. Uh, boom. All right, cool. So we want some people working there. Have we got any spare workers? No, we haven't got any freaking spare workers. We would have to fire people from other other jobs. Now, let's have a look. Uh, let's see. I was going to try and see whether that needed repairing or not. Let's go and do that again. I'm going to uh, info. It's in an acceptable condition at the moment. Right, uh, let's check the housing, see how we do for housing. We've built enough places to rest for 75 citizens, which currently covers everybody, right? But I would imagine that if we've, if we've had more than that, they'd probably be dying. But I think we, I think we potentially need more water, because we don't have, if we look at the, we've got zero well water, zero dew water, and we're not keeping up. So I think we want, uh, I think we want another well, maybe, maybe a well down here. Yeah, go on, let's do it. Let's have another well. Uh, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be food and water, isn't it? Yeah, water well. Somewhere down there. Yeah, boom, in you go. Uh, should we, yeah, let's go, let's go help that get built. Did I, yeah, I set that. So hopefully we'll be able to get some workers going in. No, don't go up there, come down here. Come on, come and get this built. Let's speed this up. Um, you have got to keep an eye out on buildings for repairs. Because even though I've built a repair shack, um, I've discovered that like one repair shack will not cater for a town like even this big. So uh, let's try and employ some workers. No. What, um, what I'm kind of thinking to maybe move the repair shack up here. so that Because most of the buildings are up here. It might make the repairing faster rather than walking like long distances back and forwards. So I think let's get another repair shack going. Where are we? Uh, repair shack. Let's get another repair shack. Where where would we want the repair shack? I don't. You know what? Maybe if I can fit it in the middle of town, I'm going to put it in the middle of town. Yeah, a little shack in the middle of town. That, that, it doesn't even look out of place. That's a good plan, I think. So let's get that built. Shouldn't take too long. And then we'll knock down the other one. Should be a very good idea. And in general, after I, as soon as I build the, got, built the guard tower, I realized that keeping your town relatively compact, good plan. <laughs> very good plan. So let, we, want, we want workers in there. Now I want to go and get rid of this. So we'll demolish this. Boom. Then we'll go and scavenge it. Salvage it, scavenge it, same thing. What's going on? We've got some, still got some people dying from diarrhea. Okay, we've done that. So I think, I think I want to set up another latrines somewhere. But let's go, let's go dump this stuff before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bad choice of words. Go and uh, go and deposit. It's not any better, is it? Uh, go and deposit your stuff in there. Let's have, let's have some more latrines. I don't know, like, like out here. I mean, the people, the people in the hospital could probably do with some latrines close by. Uh, so what do we want? We want latrines. We want, to, I want, to, I want to flipped around that way. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to flip it around. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm going to flip it around sideways. So let's have it, let's have it like there. Boom, in you go. Am I going to build that? I think I probably... I think I probably am. You know, I might get rid of the builders for a while. Yeah, I might. You know what? Stop. Let's get rid... Let's, it's on only on one times. Let's, let's get rid of the builders, because I can do the building. Yeah, demolish that. Go salvage that. I've got my large backpack and a toolkit so far. Salvage complete. Good. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Can we... Oh, actually got a couple of people working in the hospital now. Now well, that's good news. Go up here. Help build the um, the latrine. In fact, don't help build it, just build it, because we, we don't have any builders now. Citizens have started raising families in your town. See town hall stats for birth rate. Um, I'm going to show you some interesting stuff in the town hall in a minute, and you'll realise that there's a lot more to, to this game. And here we go. An innocent citizen has been executed for a crime they did not commit. Great. Now, I've, I don't know what impact that is going to have. I guess, I guess we'll wait and see. We'll wait and find out. I would imagine it'll probably have an effect on morale. <laughs> In fact, it seems to have cheered everybody up. Everybody's like, ha ah, ha he didn't even do it. He didn't even do it. Oh, Lordy. Did you see the look on his face when they hung him? <laughs> oh, dear. Never liked him. Never liked him. Horrible bloke. Um, so, yeah, we've got lots of places where we need more people. And I think, it, it, I think right now it comes down to we haven't got enough houses because we've only got enough houses for... 75 citizens, right? Which is why I think we're stuck at this kind of level. So let's get some more houses built, shall we? Yes, we shall. So um, let's have a look. Uh, we've got loads of stuff, so yeah, we can do this. So what do we want? Now, this, the next step up from tenements is luxury house. So this costs 222, this costs 333. This uh, restores 70 rest per stay. This res restores 100 rest per stay. So I'm thinking, maybe we start going luxury houses. Oh, look at that. Look, la the lap of luxury. Shall we, do, shall we do some, yeah, I'm thinking slapping like two, maybe even three of these. Yeah, go on. So one, we'll try, try and get them close together as well. Two, they've actually done some work on the game. To, um, to make it so that you can actually put buildings closer together. We'll build those and we'll knock this shack down and salvage it because this is rubbish. The shack is just dreadful. Like, it, there really is no point building it, I don't think. Restores 40 rest per stay. It costs 111. Yeah, you're way better off building. Like, spend the extra resources and get something better. So, let's get, um, let's get one of these built straight off. Boom, boom, boom. Now, remember, we haven't got any scavengers anymore. So it's up to us to do the scavenging as well as, oh no, have we got, no, I've got no builders. I've got one set of scavengers left, haven't I? I think, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got to do all the building myself, uh, but we have got some scavengers. Yeah, just get that finished off, but right. So let's have a look now. So now we've got enough places for 90 citizens. Hooray. So hopefully they'll, these people will stop dying or at least stop dying so freaking quickly. Uh, can we get anybody in the punishment center? Nope, nobody's free. We need more people. Let's uh, let's build the next one then. At least I'm quick at building, which is a damn good thing. I need to show you the town hall. You know what? Um, let's, let's slow that down to times one. Let's let him get on with that. And I'm gonna show you kind of more about what's involved with the game. So if we go to, let's see, if I, yeah, um, what do I, yeah, it's the town, I want the town hall. Oh, here we go, right, so, we've got the issues. I can do another issue. The only one I've done so far is murder. So I haven't done, what was it, cannibalism, which I did do in the last one. Um, and I probably should do that, because it, it puts people off and people take time off work. So I think that's probably a good one to do. Um, I am going to hang vegetarians, I've decided. But that, that, that'll have to wait. So we'll have a, a short prison stay for this. Now, again, this is another thing. That, like, 
if I didn't do the prison sentences, then I wouldn't need anybody in the prison at the moment, which would spare me a little bit of labor. So I could just say, no, it's execution. Like all the crimes are execution and that would save me some labor. But now nah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a short prison sentence. Um, oh no, there's, no, there's nobody working at the prison. So I can't even do it. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I get somebody to work in the prison? Nope. Nope, we don't have enough people, so I can't do it. Okay, well, in that case, I'll show you this. This is the belief system. Now, at the moment, we are atomic cultists, right? And we are in the minority. There's 5% of us. There's 20% ancestral beliefs, 25% Jain, 33% Sikh, which, okay. Um, now, you, you want to try and persuade people to come around to your belief system, but you don't have to stick to your belief system. So if we wanted to, we could become Sikhs. Um, I don't know what their attitude would be to the cow ranch, or whether that's exclusive. I don't know much about the Sikh religion. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't. Um, maybe let's find out some more about it. So I'm going to adopt the Sikh religion. So now our follower, my, my followers are like 32%. <laughs> and then what I can do, I can say, okay, these people, in other words, everybody else, right? I want to persuade them to join my religion. I've got two ways of doing this. I can either educate them or I can torture them. <laughs> I told you this game's brutal. I mean, seriously brutal. Let's, um, let's educate them, I think. Or you can exile them. That's the other thing, but we don't want to do that. So I'm going to declare that everybody's going to get educated, right? Then you have to go back to the town hall and I can go to the info station in person and I have to stay there and educate people. Right, well, I don't want to do that this second because I want to get this building built. So, how are we doing? Let's get this building built first before we do anything else. So what are we, we're up to 88 people. So, looks like, looks like building some houses wasn't a bad idea. So, boom, that's that built. So what are we up to now? We can now have up to 120 citizens. Uh, let's, let's get rid of this. Let's knock this freaking shack down because it's an eyesore. So demolish that. We'll go and salvage it. Oh, why don't I just unpause it? It's already on time six. So, oh, found a special item. What have I got? Uh, a tattered textbook containing info on construction techniques. Oh, it helps me construct faster. Oh, freaking awesome. Okay, well, that was that was worth doing. I'm glad I knocked that down. Uh, let's get another... Yeah, we can afford another luxury. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, shall I put two in? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Like, what the hell? Let's throw... Let's throw caution to the wind. Invite lots of people in because we've got jobs that need filling. So if we can, if we can encourage people to come here and and preferably stay alive, it would. Where the hell are you going? Come back over here. Go in there. Thank you. Where the hell did he was he running off to? Idiot. Okay, right. So that house is. Uh, yeah, I am definitely building faster. That's awesome news. <laughs> That's really good news. I am wondering if we don't need more food. Let's have a look. So um, we've got a tiny bit of well water. So we've got at least a little bit of water. How are we doing? Okay, so that's just produced a crop. That's just about to produce a crop. That's just about to produce a crop as well. But I am thinking we need we need more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double up our food production. I think. Um, because I think that may be one of the reasons, one of the other reasons that people are dying. So I think, I mean, we can only try. We can only try. Let's flip you around. Which way do I want? I want, no, I want you that way around. So let's, let's pop in another couple of greenhouses. Boom, boom. And then we'll pop in another, another ranch. Uh, livestock ranch, yeah. So you can go, come on, you can go there. Hooray. Which um, which one am I going to build? Kind of doesn't really matter. Let's get this one going first. So, come on. 
sprint over there, get it done. Now, I'm going to have to keep an eye out. Look, oh, now, hang on. Before we do that, pause. Can you see that we're starting to get... This is near collapse. Needs repairs. This is near collapse. This is near collapse. Is there anything else that's near collapse? These are actually okay. I'm tempted to move these scavengers. Like, up here. Yeah, I think I might do that. Uh, it looks like it's just these three buildings. So go and, um, yeah, go and repair that. Take your pause. Yeah, see, it was way down. Let's get it up to probably about there. And then let's just hop to the next building before it collapses. Go and do the well. Now, oh, we had a little bit of time. And that'll do. And then it was these buildings, wasn't it? Oh, that one. Was, oh, man, all three of these need repairing. Good Lord. Go repair that one. Let's get them up to sort of 60, 60%-ish, 60 something like that. And then hop to the next one before it falls down. Go. And they do literally collapse. They literally collapse into a pile of rubble. So that's that one. And then go do that one. Now, I have got my extra repair shack up here but they're not staying on top of the repairs now I don't know whether that's kind of like the way the, that the game is intended to be uh, but we I mean we've only got one repair shack I'm thinking we need two and yeah yeah I'm thinking we need a second repair shack so um, so what the hell Let, don't don't talk about it Sky just do it just do it build another repair shack if you need it build it let's put it uh, oh, see yeah let's put it up here I like having these kind of in the town square I think it's a good idea uh, help construct this yes that is a good idea how are for people we're up to 107 which is awesome the only problem is can we keep them like alive okay that's built that was quick can we get any workers in there no which means that we won't have any workers to work in these I need to go and repair that. Oh, man. It's a full-time job being the leader here. You're constantly running around repairing things, building things, doing a bit of scavenging. I'm going to get that fully repaired. Boom. Uh, we, can, we can help get that one built, can't we? Yeah, go on. Go, go help get that one built. Somebody's already building that, which is kind of good news. And kind of surprising since I've knocked the builder's yard down. Uh, let's try and get some workers in there. There's nobody available at the moment. Now, we can start to make trade-offs. Uh, this is about to collapse, and so is this. Let's go and... Re ah, click the wrong one. We can go and do some repairs. Quickly. But it's about making trade-offs. Uh, let's go and do that one. So we're going to have to free up some people. From somewhere or other. We're up to 110. Oh no, we were up to 110. And then... Plague. Uh, a suicidal citizen has been euthanized. Yeah. See, these, these start to form the pressures on your society. And why you have to enact laws. Like, euthanasia... I mean, you may agree with euthanasia. You may think, yeah, if somebody wants to end their life, then they should be allowed to. But from a from a society perspective, we need the freaky workers. We don't want to be offing people who could be working, which is like a totally selfish way of looking at it. We're not considering their what they want. Um, I need to go and repair that. So you can see, the game now becomes about you know trying to keep your repairs done. Trying to balance your labour issues. Uh, yeah, keep going. Let's get let's get that fully repaired. Oh, the first citizen's been executed at your punishment centre. Oh my god! See, this is why I don't like this this method of camera rotation. It should rotate around the centre centre point, not around a point kind of just below the camera. It's silly. I want it like I want to be able to rotate around that object that I'm looking at, not. 
Why would I want to rotate like that? It doesn't make any freaking sense. Okay, never mind. Never mind, moving on. So, yeah. Hung by the neck until... Until it really hurt. Uh, yeah, hung by the neck until dead. So, who are you? Can we... Can we... Yes. Um, what's his name? Oystein Copythorpe. Uh, well, now we know the reason. Because nobody could pronounce that, so we better hang him. Because he keeps walking up to me and saying, Hi, how you doing? And he knows my name, and I just... I can't pronounce his name. Can't we just hang him and be done with it? That's the solution. Um, he was employed in the tavern. It's a shame. They were away at sea when the bombs fell. Favourite colour's purple. Now, this is quite, kind of cool, actually. Um, all of the... <laughs> All of the people have things like, you know, favourite pre-war song. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh, favourite things about life. Greatest fear, drowning. Yeah, well, you haven't drowned. So look on the bright side. Uh, job they had before the ward, fitness trainer. See, another good reason for the hanging. Um, physical quote, has an unusual accent. See, another good reason. Uh, memory problems. Yeah. Yeah, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. So, yeah, and you can click on all of these. But some of the songs are actually pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, let it be the Beatles, meh. White Christmas, Bing Crosby, meh. As time goes by, meh. Uh, I will, meh, meh. Riders in the Sky, that's not too bad. Uh, non. Okay, some, some of them have got cool songs. I despise his music. Over the Rain by Judy Garland, no. What about you? Two minutes to midnight. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, no, I already looked at you. Stairway to Heaven, bit of Led Zepp. Oh, hell yeah. What about you? Paid in full. Eric, but no, don't die. I don't even know what that, that song is. Okay. E enough with the songs? Yeah, I suppose. Not really, because there are, there are much cooler songs. Hey Jude. A lot of Beatles fans, I've noticed, amongst them. Beat it, Michael Jackson. More Bing Crosby. Done it. I don't even know that song. What about you? What about you? Anything good? Anything good? Oh, see? Losing my religion. Bit of REM. Now that's more freaking like it. What about you two? See what you've got. The day's my enemy. I don't know that song. In oh uh, yeah, I freaking love Glenn Miller. By the way, I do have some very weird tastes. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Best one was definitely REM. Okay, we need to get more freaking people working. Um, I've already said employ that. Are we? What are we doing? Were we building this? I think we were building this, weren't we? Yeah. Let's get this built, and then we'll. Try and do some other stuff. So, again, we'll say employ some workers, but oh, we've got to repair this now. See, it's never ending. It really is. And you've got to be careful because while you're repairing one building, there could be, see, there could be other buildings which are nearing collapse, which you need to go on and, and get sorted out. So uh, that, that'll do. Let's go. Let's go and do that one. Go, 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 go. So, we're at 105 people, and we're kind of struggling to get above that. We're still getting people dying from diarrhoea. How many people have we got working at the hospital? Uh, it looks like we're... Yeah, we're full. Awesome. That's good news. So, at least people can go and get some, some healing. What we could really do with is a chemist to, um, to help out with that. Uh, let's pause. We've we got any other buildings which are liable to collapse at any second. Yes, this one. Let's go. Let's go and do a bit of repairs on that. Then we'll try and build a chemist. Get that repaired. Let's at least get it up to kind of the seventy percent level. There we go. Right. So chemist. Let's get a chemist. If we if we can get a chemist going, uh, then it'll improve the health of people. So they'll work, they'll work longer and better. Um, but it does need uh, fruit and vegetables to make the medicine. So that might be a bit of an issue. Oh, not enough resources. What do we, uh, oh, we need lumber. We need some lumber. Uh, what have you got? You got some lumber. Can't salvage that. Uh, go, 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 run, 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 run. Now, when I started this series, I thought that this was going to be one and done. I thought, like, totally, this is one and done. But, uh, no, it, it really isn't. 
I'm thinking I'm thinking this is going to be a little mini series. It's not going to be like a, a long series or whatever, but I am thinking that this could extend to three or four episodes. Because um, there's, there's, there's a hell of a lot more to see in the game, and I don't know about you, but I want to see it. Uh, so, uh, I want to dump that stuff now. So, come back over, yeah, come back over here, deposit that stuff, and then we need to go and repair the, um, the Elder's Place. Oh, and that needs to be repaired as well. Right, so you've dumped that stuff. Come over here and repair the Elders first. Go. Oh, and the hospital needs to be repaired as well. So, let's get you up to 70. Then we'll go and run over there and repair that. Oh, and now the well needs to be repaired. Oh, my God. Can't keep up. We need, um, we need more. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh. Okay, we've only got three people working at the repair shack. Uh, that one. Where, how many people we've got working at this one? We've got four working here. Going to repair the, cremator crema the crematory. Cre should be crematorium. Going to repair Elder's End. I've just, I've just done that. Okay, never mind. What was I repairing? I was repairing that one, wasn't I? I think. Uh, let's go. Let's go and do that because that's about to collapse. Go. And again, we'll get it to sort of seventy percent. Look at all the freaking bodies all over the place. See, I want to get another cremat uh, crematorium. I was going to say crematory then, but. I want to get another crematorium, but, like, we need the people to man it. Mind you, I'm up to 125 people suddenly. Okay, f sweet. Did we get, like, a whole bunch of people coming? Um, vegetarians refusing to eat meat and work at any livestock ranch. Yeah. People dying from diarrhea. Plague from a corpse. Diarrhea plague. So it, it, this is a bit of a vicious circle. People are dying from diarrhea. And then their corpses, like, infect everybody else with the plague. So I'm thinking that actually getting another cre uh, crematorium going is actually really, really important. Um, let's see. We've got the old people. We've got the church. I think the crematorium should be here because it's like the old people, they die, quick, quick funeral service, and then, you know, yeah. Um... What do I want? I want another crematorium. This is going to be in medical crematory. Crematorium. That should be the other way around, shouldn't it? Should be that way around. Let's come on. Oh, what? You won't go in any. Oh, you'll go in there. Well, that's where you go in then. Boom. Let's get this freaking thing built. Because we've got to stop people dying. We've got to get the bodies cleaned up. So, zip, 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 and built. Hooray. Let's try and get some people in there. Oh, my God. We've got enough people. We've got enough people. Good Lord. Let's see. How many? We've got enough housing for 135 citizens. And we're up to 133 now. Now, is there anywhere that doesn't have workers? You don't have workers. No, no free workers. Okay. That needs to be repaired. Damn it. Go on. Run all the way over there and repair that. Oh, that needs to be repaired. Uh, repair that one first. Repair. Go and repair that. Why? Why, why can't I repair that? In five. Oh, is somebody already repairing? I think somebody's already, already repairing it. Okay, well, we'll go and repair that one then. Fine. Fine. Be like that then. Oh, man. I, I am seriously thinking repair shacks is something you need several of because it's kind of hard to stay on top of it. Uh, let's see. How are we doing food-wise? Let's have a look at the inventory. So we've got... Oh, my God. We've actually got some fruit and veg in stock and we've got some butchered meat, which is kind of nice. We do need some more lumber and we could do with some more uh, metal as well. But we do have some. Hooray. We don't have any medicine. I was going to build a chemist, wasn't I? Yeah. Did I build it? No, I don't think I did. I think I got distracted. Let's build a chemist. Uh, chemist. Chemist, chemist, chemist. Here is the guy. Here's the chemist. Looks like, looks like a still. 
Uh, which, where's the door? There's the door. So, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe... Well, it won't quite go there, damn it. I suppose... Yeah, maybe over here. Yeah, maybe over here. Because then it's close to the vegetables and close to the hospital. So, probably not the... Probably not completely ridiculous. You know, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to turn it around that way then. And have the door facing out to the to the fruit and veggies. Let's have you... There, that'll do. Let's go build that. Come on, sprint. Sprint. You can do it. You can do it. What are we up to? We're still at around 130 people, which is good. Right, can we get any people working there? No, not yet. Not yet. We need more housing. And I'm thinking we need more repairing as well. But look, it does look like maybe we're starting to get on top of the dead bodies a little bit. Maybe. How many people we got working at the Krem? Yeah, we've got four people working at the Krem. There are, there are still a lot of bodies around, but I don't think there are as many as there were. And if that's the case, then less people will die, which would be freaking sweet. Um, let's get houses. Now, I've got to be careful, because once I get up to 200, then we're going to have the big bad nasties coming after us. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, I've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, we're going to go luxury house, I guess. I could just about afford it. Then I'm gonna have to go and do some scavenging. So, do we have do we have these kind of a little street of houses going down here? I think we probably do. So go on. Let's go help get that built. Go, 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 go. And cha ching. God, I, I really do build quite fast. Although that suddenly slowed down for some reason. Why am I building so slow now? There we go. Boom. Oh, that's better. Okay, so what does that get me up to? That gets me up to 150. Uh, I'm thinking I probably need another one, but I don't think I've got the resources to build another one. Have I? Nope. Need more lumber. So, got none there. There's a building down there, but that's quite a long way away. We've got, we've got a container down there. That's got lumber. Right, let's go. Go, salvage. Wow. Oh, these will be um, these will be other groups coming in to join us. So, but we, look, we're we're dying <laughs> like as fast as they join at the moment. But no, we're still going up, I guess. Here we go. Lighting up. We want lumber. Lots of lumber, please. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, we found another special item. What's this? Found an old dented oil lamp to help you search dark ruins. Let's us salvage faster. Awesome. I like these special items. They're kind of cool. Uh, let's whiz back over here. Dump the stuff. Where's the, where's the storeroom? Here it is. So let's go dump the stuff in there. Go. Wait for us to get back. So we've got one of our... One of our guys enforcing the law. You're going to go and lock somebody up. I need to go and enact another law, actually. That's a good point. And I haven't done any education, either. Did I come back? Where the hell am I? Did I get back yet? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm already done. I think that's me. Is that me? I think that's me. Yep, yeah, that's me. Does it say what my favourite song is? Oh, it doesn't. I should be able to put that in. Okay, we're like, whatever. <laughs> Moving along, what the hell am I talking about? Let's enact a law. Let's get a law going. What do we want? So, um, homosexuality is not affecting me. Uh, I'm not going to bother about that. Cannibalism. Uh, you know what? It's, they say it's a service, removing corpses and feeding themselves. Like, right now it is. So I'm actually not going to enact anything for that. Drug users. We've caught citizens taking medical supplies from storehouses. That needs to be... That needs to be done. Uh, vegetarians. I will get around to persecuting vegetarians, but not at the moment. Slavery. Uh, makes the slaver more productive, but the slave will never get the chance to work anywhere else. Hmm. I wonder, should we address that? 
Yeah, I think we should. Slavery. We're not going to put up with slavery, guys. Uh, slavery is going to result in a long prison sentence. Yeah, we really don't like slavery. So, boom, you have been judged. So, you've been warned. You've been warned, everybody. No slaving going on. Cut, cut out the slavery. Right, what the hell was I doing? Um, I was going to go and get some stuff, which I did. Oh, and then I was going to build another house, wasn't I? Yeah. Now, I've got to be careful, though. I'm, I am getting close to 200. So what do I want? I want another luxury house. Let's flip you around and pop you in there. Boom. You can now update your belief system choices at the town hall. Okay. Am I going to do that? Nah. Oh, wandering around still enforcing the law. Let's, um, let's get this built, I think. Go get that house built. That gives us some room then to bring some more people in. But I'm going to have to start focusing on weapons and uh, and protection. So let's get that built, and then we'll we'll kind of figure out where we are because there are stats on this kind of stuff if I can find them. So pause. Let's go to let's go to the town hall. Uh, no, I want the town hall stats, don't I? I think yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We've got 39 people who intend to get a drink soon if there's any in stock, right? That tells me we're not producing enough water, so we need more wells. We've got uh, 12 people who intend to get some food soon if there's any in stock. Well, I don't think there's much more that we can do on the food side. I suppose I could try and put in a little bit more food, maybe. Uh, we've got two people that need medical attention, so we're okay on the medical attention. We've got nobody who needs to go and rest at the moment. We've got six people who are a bit miserable. We have got six. This is the average number of children that are born in your town each month. It's six. That's good. Uh, new mother. Number of new mothers is zero at the moment. Uh, number of abortions, zero. So that's good. Number of homosexual citizens who have come out of the closet. One. And two transgender. Defence. This is the number of buildings that are currently at risk from being attacked by raiders. Make sure all buildings are near a guard tower that is fully upgraded with weapons. Yeah, we've got 43 buildings that we need to protect. Uh, number of unemployed citizens is zero. Number of homeless citizens is zero. That's good. Number of plagued citizens is four. Number of uh, diuretic citizens... Uh, a lack of latrines causes diarrhea to spread. We need more latrines about the place then. And then number of culture critics, no. Uh, number of elderly citizens is 13. That's actually good. Number of distressed citizens, they're, they're too upset to work. No, zero. That's good. Number of people affected by grim surroundings and losing morale. This is because I've got the prison and the, um, the punishment centre close by. But that is what it is. And... We haven't got anybody who's so upset that they're not working. So I'm, I don't mind a little bit of upset. We've had five murders in the last month. We've got no active slavers, eight who are suicidal, five drug users, six women considering abortions, uh, no hardened criminals, no slaves, 10 vegetarians. This is obviously something needs to be done. Four cannibals and five homosexuals. Okay. So, yeah. One thing I like about this game is the fact that you do have, like, like once you find them and once you understand them, you do have all the stats. I like that. The one thing that is missing, I think, is the production stats on the food. I would kind of like to know maybe a little bit more about that kind of stuff. But let's see. So you've just produced a crop. You're just about to. You've fairly recently done, uh, produced a crop. You're midway through. You've fairly recently produced. So we should have food. If we haven't, then we're not producing enough. And the answer is, yeah, we're not producing enough. Like, not even freaking close. And we sure as hell don't have enough water. So, let's start addressing these issues, I think. Um, yeah, let's not worry about the housing anymore. Let's get some more water going. So, what do we want? Water well, let's see. What's the difference between the water well and the dew collector? So, the dew collector, 10 dew water per cycle. And so, so 10 every 12 days, this is 
three every four days. So, there's, there really isn't a lot in it. That's three workers for max output. Oh, this is two workers for max output. Okay, so, so yeah, dew collectors would be the way to go, I think. So let's have, um, let's have one in there. Let's maybe have one over there as well. And I'm thinking maybe another one. Uh, do we really want one by the latrines? Probably not. Can I put one? Okay. Oh, let's have one up there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, go on. We'll have one up there as well. So I need to get uh, I need to get those built. Let's get those built first. Go. Just whiz you along. Come on, Barry. <laughs> whiz, whiz, whiz. And hooray! That's that one done. Can I get workers? Nope. But we must be close to having workers free. And uh, let's go build this one, which again, I won't have any workers for, but hey, it is what it is. There goes Barry. Wow. So we'll get these three built. So latrines, I am thinking, let's get a couple of these. No, let's get all three built. Then I'll build the latrines. Yeah. So let's do that. We want people working there, please, if you could. I'm not having problems at the moment with having to repair stuff, so maybe, maybe we're kind of on top of the repairs. It'd be kind of nice if that was true. Uh, go and do that one. Go and run up the side of a mountain. No problem. Walk in the park for Barry. And bingo. Uh, let's get that one in as well. Okay, so I'm hoping that that's going to produce like enough water, but that's going to take like another 12 days. Okay, is what it is. Uh, do I get another well to kind of tide us over in the short term? Um, no, I think we've committed enough people to to water. Yeah. Let's see, when, when are you producing the next lot of water? Okay, you just produced water. Oh man. Yeah, we're yeah, we're struggling a little bit. Let's get another latrines going. I want to try and cut down. We're still getting people with diarrhea, which means we don't have enough latrines. So, nuts a theatre. Now, some people would consider them to be similar, or at least certain productions at theatres to be similar, but no. Where do we want this latrine? We've got one over there. We've got one up there. Maybe we have one over here. Maybe they can use it for fertiliser. I don't know. What are you asking me for? I don't know, freaking clue. Let's, uh, may maybe we'll put it over there, like behind, yeah, because I can I can squeeze maybe one, maybe even two more in there. Let's, uh, let's have the trees right at the back, and go. Get over there, get it built. I'm Barry Allen, I'm the fastest man alive. The Flash was much better in the film than in the TV series. Don't you think? I do. So we've got that built. That see that doesn't require any any workers. So I think I'm going to build another one because, like, I don't think it, I just don't think it's a bad idea having. I don't you, you, these you can't have too many of. That's for freaking certain. So just 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 build another one over here. I'll probably find out in a minute that latrines really upset people for some reason or spread diseases in other ways or something. But <laughs> we'll see. Now each time somebody passes away peacefully in the elders structure which is this place um, it increases our hope level and our hope level is, has gone from zero we're up to 23 percent hope people are actually kind of hopeful which is pretty freaking awesome we've got 30 people who want to drink we've got eight people who want something to eat nobody needs medical attention nobody needs to rest we've still got six grumpy people but generally, we're not looking too bad. Uh, let's have a look at how many weapons have we manufactured? Have we got any spare weapons? Uh, salvage weapons is none. Homemade weapons is none. Now, let's have a look over here at the weaponsmith. He's got um, he's got the materials. Just needs to make it. But there's not there's nothing to tell you like how many he's produced or anything like that. We still need a few more people to fill 
the jobs. Now, I could do things like, since since morale is kind of, sort of, okay, uh, I could, like, cull a job or two from here. So, do I, um, do I kind of want to do that? You know what, I might, I might cull a couple of theatre jobs and then see... Can we, uh, maybe, I, you know, maybe this one. Can we, can we get a couple of people? With, no, still no free workers. So our work is not done, but we're going to leave it there for this episode. There will be definitely another episode. I want to take us up to the point, we're coming up on year one. Now at either the end of two years, was it two years or was it three years? No, I think it was three years. Was it, I think, no, I think it was three years. Um, or when you get to 200 people in your village, we get visited by very, very bad men who want to skin us and eat us and rape us and stuff like that. So um, I want to I want to get to that point. Next episode is going to be about building up our military and preparing for that and then getting up to the 200 and then see what the hell happens. Does that sound like a plan to you? Sounds like a plan to me. Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying this still. And I will catch you for the next one. Peace out.